Hey everyone, Shlomo Brody here. Today is Lab Ba'omer, the 32nd day of the Omer, which is not a significant day on the Jewish calendar, but I want to review today a fascinating proposal by Mordechai Pinchas Taitz, who suggested that this actually should be the day on which we commemorate the Holocaust. As is well known, there is a big discussion amongst Poskim about how the Holocaust should be commemorated. Some figures, like Rav Soloveitchik, felt that a unique day should not be established for Yom HaShoah, what's known as Yom HaShoah today, and instead the Holocaust should be commemorated with other tragedies on Tisha B'Av, the saddest day of the Jewish calendar. Others, like Rav Chir Yaakov Weinberg, himself a survivor, suggested that it would be appropriate to have a special day to commemorate the Holocaust. Many further cited the fact that historically, throughout Jewish history of many tragedies, the war dates that are picked to commemorate or to memorialize certain tragedies, like the 20th of Sivan, which commemorates tragedy both from the 12th century and from the 17th century, Chamaniski massacres. But most postkim are not excited by the day that was picked by the Israeli government for Yom HaShoah. It's a date in the month of Nisan. Nisan is a time period which in general we don't have days of memorial. Moreover, they were enthusiastic about the idea of why that date was chosen to commemorate, to be a part of the period of which the Warsaw Ghetto Uprising took place. While it is true this is a moment of great gura, according to many, nonetheless that was not the model that they thought should commemorate or memorialize the Holocaust. Interestingly, Rav Taitz came up with a different suggestion. He said it should be at the 32nd day of the Omer. What happened on the 32nd day of the Omer? So in 1945, on April 29th, Hitler, Yomach Shemo Zichro, committed suicide on that day. Rabbi Taitz made a very fascinating suggestion. He said, this should be the day in which we commemorate what happened in the Shoah. We should have a half a day of tefillah and fasting. Another half of a day should be some form of feast or festivities. This will be an appropriate day. It's already in the month of Iyar, out of Nisan. It will be a time period which we commemorate both the losses of the Shoah, as well as think about the miraculous victory that ultimately occurred towards the end of World War II. And then we can go straight into Lagba Omer, which historically was the date in which we commemorate the period in which we stop losing lives when Rabbi Akiva's students stop dying. So too, this would be an appropriate date for the end of the Shoah, so to speak, and the end of the day of the slaughter of the European Jewry. And Rabbi Tait suggested this would be a perfect way of combining both a traditional date of Lagba Omer with more recent events of Jewish history. It would have been a fascinating suggestion that would have revamped the entire memorial season as well as the meaning of Lagba Omer. Unfortunately, it didn't get too far. Most people haven't even heard about it. But fortunately, Rabbi Taitz's daughter, Dr. Rivka Blau, writes about it in her biography of her father. And it's a fascinating suggestion, one of those great questions of what if. What if history had gone differently? What if that date has been chosen? Let me know what you think about this idea.